Hello everyone, this is Donna's happy hour. Just a reminder to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you get future notifications of the videos, and please leave a comment. Thank you, have a great day. So when I did actually watch that about uh, Steven Tyler when you gave him the feather. <laughs> nice. And that's pretty funny that it was supposed to go in his hair. Yes. I thought it looked great where it was. Yeah, it but, did, but, but I know yes. I know he was probably like, oh, you know, trying to act cool. <laughs> did you tell him later that uh, No, Steven, it was it was um, no time. No. <laughs> he probably figured it out eventually. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I think I like was like, it's never it's oh, that's hair. so <laughs> funny. That is cute. So let's talk about, because Elise actually has an album that, that is out already, correct? Yep, a couple. Mm -hmm. Okay, and actually that's right here. And also you, CD. Mm -hmm. Now, are these uh, the same, totally different? They're different, yeah. Different, that's okay. the first one I did um, after Idol, so I think I was 29. Okay. Um, so that took a long time for me to record something. You know, I had demos, mm -hmm. but... Yeah, I finally did that. So there's 10 songs on there. I self-produced. I wrote them all. Um, some help with the Charleston musicians, okay. of course, with, with some of the production and arrangement. Right. Um, well, more the arrangement. But um, yeah, it's I was excited about that. Not to have a producer or a label or anything. Right, um, right. And is... when I, I released one song, uh, I Will Not Break. <laughs> Which um, is a fantastic song, thank actually. You. Actually, all of her songs are really fantastic. Thank you. Now, so um, they're going to be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that one, I was so excited when I released it because, and I told the story the other night, but I was just sitting at the car dealership getting my oil changed. And I, I'm like, let me just check the iTunes charts and see if there's any action on this. Because again, I didn't have a promoter or anything. Right. And I was like, oh, it was number six on the charts. Wow. It was, it was right under or before Ed Sheeran and... It was like Tracy Chapman and James Taylor and then me. Wow. Um, on the iTunes charts. Oh my gosh, that is exciting. So I was oh. like, ah, so I just got up from where I was and walked a mile and 100 degrees and I got it tattooed on my wrist. Oh no. So I didn't oh, want to forget. It, oh, is that what you have there? Yeah, okay. so it's the title. <laughs> oh, funny. Oh my gosh. Well, you know, that's one of the things that I also find so interesting because so many um, music, you know, young artists are producing themselves mm -hmm. and promoting themselves, yep. you know, and I, you know, I often think to myself how, you know, how difficult that has to be on one hand, mm -hmm. you know, and then yet on the other hand, they have so much more control. Yeah, I like the control. So, I think it's difficult as far, like the, I think the biggest struggle for all of us is money. <laughs> right. Thank God Absolutely. for people who believe in the arts because everything is so expensive. We work so hard. We give everything for ourselves, but also for other people. Right. For this empathetic connection. And, right. And it's, we don't even have like insurance offered. You know, it's just like always right. a struggle with money. And, and right. just to make that album, I think I spent like $65,000 or something. Wow. I mean, I'm going down and down as I move forward because right. that's just unattainable without a label. 